So let's talk about distribution centers. Why would I create a video on distribution centers? Everyone is sell to a Walmart or Best Buy, Home Depot, Macy's or whatever. They actually have locations where you ship products to and they're called distribution centers. Sometimes they're called RDCs, which are regional distribution centers. There's different names for it, but the essence is if you get a purchase order from a chain store, say Walmart, they will have you get added to their system. You'll fill out a form and all the nuances of becoming a vendor. It's lengthy. And then they choose how you're going to ship your products to them. Now, there's multiple ways of selling to a retailer and there's different ways to ship products to them once you get an order. If you actually get an order, a lot of times they're going to have you ship it to a distribution center somewhere in the United States. And there's many reasons why that matters to you. The first reason is if they ask you to ship your product to a distribution center, you need to ensure that you know the cost of your product to be shipped to their locations. And also you need to know that if you work with, say, a Walmart, a lot of times they're going to be asking you to ship to a certain location that's theirs. And that means that the products will be shipped versus you do some, doing something called drop ship. So there's shipping to a distribution center versus drop shipping your product, which means that you get an order and you deliver your goods to a distribution center and then they take it out to their audience. Otherwise, you can work with them in a drop ship capacity, which is that you are responsible for shipping the product directly to the customer that they receive through the retailer you're working with. In other words, you're shipping the product individually like you are an online store shipping products individually. The good news is a lot of the retailers have distribution centers because they'll just have you ship it to a certain location and then from there they can contain that delivery and then ship it out to their stores accordingly. And so with that said, distribution centers matter because if you work with a chain store, you know that say Walmart has over 200 locations just in the US where you could possibly ship your products to. So if you have a product that's doing really well and it's gonna go into all their stores, they might have you ship it to all the different locations because of the fact that it's going to different stores. If it's just in the West Coast region, they might just have you ship it to a distribution center in a location on the West Coast. So hopefully you get that. If they decide to do something called drop ship with you, it's a different experience and that's another video here, but the ultimate reality is you're not, not gonna be responsible for shipping it to the individual client and there's software and stuff that you need. So the bottom line is if you decide to work with a chain store, Home Depot has currently 90 different distribution centers in their different regions. And again, it really comes down to you understanding what it's going to be like to working with a chain store. In other words, if you do get a massive order, you know that you have some shipping and delivering ability to do, and it needs to be right. It needs to be precise when you ship it to them because they have a whole system laid out as to how their customers get products. And when you work with the chain store, they definitely take a look at how good you are at shipping. They grade you a lot of the times. If you show up late, they'll note it. If you ship it incorrectly, they'll charge you back. So again, they'll explain all of this when they work with you. We actually explain people how to approach pitch and sell the retailers with our retail MBA training system, but also, we do explain what happens when you ship products, the things to do to ensure that you don't get charged back so you do things correctly and so forth. We explain all that in our training and coaching system. So if you are concerned about any of this, don't worry about it. We explain in detail how to help you with that at Retail and Beat Up. Otherwise, just know that you're going to have to think about how much it's gonna cost you to ship a product to a center throughout the United States if the deal goes bigger than you think, then it might be to various distribution centers throughout the country. If it's a test, they usually will have you send the product out to maybe one or two locations. A test means that they'll test out your product in X number of stores. Again, it really depends on your deal with that retailer, but just know that 
when you're working with a chain store, distribution centers come up and now you know what they are. This is Karen Waxman, Retail MBA. If you want to learn how to sell to the retailer of your dream choice, please take a look at the links below or go to com or please subscribe, add us to your content. Thanks so much.